Tinubu is female. Hmm. Tension in courts, in U.S. courts, after Chicago University confirmed female Bola Tinubu. See what court announced. Nigerians, Wala don't shall be this. In a surprising turn of events, Judge Jeffrey Glibert of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois found himself in a pre blessing situation on Tuesday as he deliberated over the subpoena application for Bola Tinubu's record. This record has sent her to an ongoing legal dispute. But what caught the judge's attention was a sterling revelation. Tinubu's college transit, which secured his admission into Chicago State University, back in 1977 indicated that it belongs to a female nigerian there is fire in the mountain also rock in panic as this new development just occurs welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you for this coming out here if you are just joining us please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. In a surprising turn of events, Judge Jeffrey Glibert of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois found himself in a pre blessing situation on Tuesday as he deliberated over the subpoena application for Bola Tinubu's records. These records are central to an ongoing legal dispute. But what caught the judge's attention was a sterling revelation. Tinubu's College trans Transit, which secured his admission into Chicago State University back in 1977, indicated that it belongs to a female. Initially, prepared to render a decision during a hearing scheduled for September 12th. Judge Glibert now required additional time to carefully consider his, this unexpected twist. The reason for this delay stemmed from the emergence of a separate court subpoena that yielded a Chicago State University transit bearing the owner's gender as female labeled as Bola A. Tunubu. The bond share revelation regarding the gender discrepancies was introduced by Christopher, Mr. Tinubu's legal representative, sought to use this revelation to undermine the credibility of the case, dismissing it, dismissing it as a baseless conspiracy theory propagated by Mr. Tinubu's political adversaries in Nigeria. He liked it to the debunked claims made by Donald Trump in 2010 when he questioned Barack Obama's place of birth. However, Alexander D. Gramont, the lawyer representing Plentyfield, Atiku Abubakar, promptly informed the court that the possibility of Bola Tinubu, who also attended the Chicago State University in the 1970s, being a woman had initially come to light in records provided by the university itself. The Chicago State University had admitted these records in mid 2020 22 while compelling, compiling with a state court subpoena. The records handed over to Nigerian civil rights lawyer Mike Ehinero revealed that Bola A. Tinubu gained admission to Chicago State University in 1977 based on a transit from Southwest College, Chicago, which indicated that the, the transcript belonged to a female student. George Glibert found himself as a state of in a state of confusion as a Chicago State University lawyer Michael Hayes confirmed the 
submission of these records to Mr. Hineru in 2022. However, Hayes insisted that the Nigerian president, Mr. Tinubu, was indeed the individual who attended and graduated from the university. Intriguingly, Hayes was unable to provide a satisfactory explanation for these contradictions and the Chicago State University's administrators were unwilling to swear under oath to the authenticity of the certificate that Mr. Tinubu had presented as proof of his academic credentials. Is the diploma authentic or is it a forgery? My client can't answer yes to either of these questions, remarked Mr. Hayes regarding Mr. Tenable's certificates, which he had submitted to support his claim to the presidency of Nigeria. Are these puzzling revelations continue to unfold? Judge Gleber's decisions remain pending, leaving both parties in, in suspense as they, are, as they await the resolution of this enigmatic case. The courtroom drama surrounding Bola Tinubu's record has taken an unexpected turn, raising questions about the authenticity of key documents and the credibility of the Nigerian president's academic history. So guys, <laughs> I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comments.